Um, and what about um, talking about uh, advice for farmers? You had a mentor you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. You right. may have had some others as well. Like, yeah. how important? Who was your mentor? How important was he and others to you? Yeah. And is that something you would suggest other young up, up and coming or right. people thinking about farming? Is that something they should should think about? Right. Yeah. So, you know, I I, uh, I originally got into farming through uh, through permaculture. Um, permaculture for me was a very important synthesized way of looking at nature. But like I said. The compost is at the core of enlivening soil, and that's where one of my greatest mentors, right here on this farm, um, is, uh, is Jack McAndrew, and he is. Uh, <laughs> We've got thousands of comments just streaming yeah. in Good. right now. <laughs> Good. Jack McAndrew is, uh, is is one of my greatest mentors here on the farm, and he um, he has a. Um, he has a really core belief, and as somebody who is 82 years old and has practiced biodynamic farming for decades, he has mm. a core belief that compost is at the center of, of that. So Jack McAndrew has been a strong mentor for me. Um, I, I've, uh, I'm constantly inspired by other biodynamic farmers back in New York. Um, I, as a very young person, I learned from Hugh Williams at Threshold Farm, um, who's also Australian. Um, I learned from, um, uh, you know, the many different, uh, you know, farmers. Too many to name, really. But um, mm. you know, working, I've, I've I've done this on a couple of different continents, and I just recommend go out there, find the resources, you know, those people are out there, and they want to pass this knowledge on, and they because it's. It's a, um, you know, on the positive side, there were, there were 2,000 people at the latest, or maybe it was 1,000 or something, but there was a lot of people at the last biodynamic, uh, National Biodynamic Conference here in the United States, mm -hmm. and, and, it was a, uh, and it was amazing to see that. At the same time, there is always a fear of it being watered down and of us not listening to these elders who really carry the core of that wisdom. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and if we if we lose some of those core things, it's uh, it's really important to um, to come back to um, to some of that and to really carry as much of that as we can forward. So, yeah. Um, Dan, we might wrap it up there. It's been fantastic speaking yeah. with you. Um, I know you've got jobs to do now. I do. I got to go you build a greenhouse. You got to go build, <laughs> build a greenhouse and a farm and it's, stand. And it's really five o'clock. This oh, man yeah. doesn't knock off. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to plug? You've plugged your website or your your, your business and so on. Yeah. Um, anyone else you want to give a plug to? A shout out to? Well, you know, I, I would well, I say you. also, you know, keep, well, you've got the world. One thing watching. to one thing to really keep an eye out for and an eye on is uh, is um, in upstate New York, we are currently creating a, a cooperative of farmers called the Philmont Cooperative, um, and uh, and right now we have a Facebook page. If you look up Philmont Cooperative, mm -hmm. uh, our website will be live live soon as we receive funding. If anyone is out there that is interested <laughs> in uh, in funding this work, I would first and foremost, because I'm on this farm in Malibu, I'd say donate to this farm and and help them move things forward more so than asking you know people to donate or, or to support my farm even though I always ask for that back in New York um, keep an eye out for these cooperatives like mm -hmm. uh, like the Philmont cooperative because that's where you can support farmers working together when farmers work together they can support each other so the Philmont cooperative is, is something I'd really put a plug out for and check that out on Facebook we're also uh, Philmont market on Instagram um, and it's gonna be a a cooperatively owned marketplace cafe and distribution business in Philmont, New York, which is right where my farm is. And what about uh, this farm? And this Kerry. farm here, Kerry Clasby, uh, is the intuitive forager. Um, and it, the farm is, uh, you know, on the front it says Sterling Farms, that is the name of the property. The farm is the farm at Malibu, and, uh, and it is. Uh, yeah, I, I, this farm is, is, as you can see right behind mm. us, there are plants going in as we speak. There's biodynamic compost being built up on the hill as Back we speak. Back up there. You know, the interesting there thing is, is uh, over the road there yeah. is like well, it's a, shopping center. It's right. incredible. Right. The, the, Bank of America. 
Yeah, everything. right there, UPS, That's the, the whole Pacific show. Coast Highway right there. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. And so, and you know, to have this work take place in somewhere so central, mm. so accessible to people, especially from Los Angeles, and it's the best chefs in Los Angeles are buying from this farm right now, and I can't say enough how important it is to support businesses like this. So if you know any chefs in LA, intuitive send them this, exactly. Yep. So, well done, Dan. Look Thank you. Look them up on Instagram. I think it's intuitiveforager.com, but I don't know exactly. Yeah. Um, and, Google. Uh, and then right here, across from the Point Doom Shopping Center in Malibu, <laughs> you can find one of the most amazing little gems on the Pacific Coast. On the know. planet. On the planet, right. Dan, thank you. Thank you Great man. to meet you. Yes. And you, hope to catch up with you again Absolutely. another time. In yeah. another continent, maybe. Maybe. Invite me over. Maybe <laughs> in South Australia one day. Yeah. <laughs>